Good afternoon. On behalf of the Randall High School faculty and staff, we would like to welcome you to join us in celebrating the graduating class of 2020 and their distinguished achievements. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Macy Morris, and I'd like to welcome class of 2020 graduates, family members, and friends. If you'll please stand with me for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. If you'll remain standing for the national anthem performed by your very own Randall Show Choir. Administrators, staff, family, friends, and graduates of 2020 to Randall High School's 32nd graduation commencement ceremony and Randall High School's first entirely virtual graduation ceremony. My name is Mackenzie Carroll, and I'm honored to have been awarded this opportunity to welcome you this evening on behalf of the class of 2020. If we had been gathered to celebrate as usual, this is when I would request that all parents of 2020 graduates would rise so that the graduating class would have the occasion to show appreciation to their parents and guardians' unconditional love and support throughout these past four years. Instead, as our circumstances of celebration have been altered, I suggest that graduates take this moment to thank the loved ones with whom they are gathered today. Next, I would ask that the staff of Randall High School would rise so the graduating class would have the occasion to show appreciation to the hard work and guidance that has presented to us throughout some of the most influential moments of our lives. On behalf of the entire class of 2020, Thank you to all faculty, staff, and administration for your dedication to each of our futures. Another thank you is due for your hard work regarding today's proceedings, for a difficult circumstance was overcome with a well-planned solution. We acknowledge that such a solution was only achieved through the absolute dedication of all individuals involved. Graduates, although we have found ourselves following different paths over these past four years, each path with diverse experiences and memories, we're united through our shared accomplishment of graduating high school. As we advance into the real world, graduates, whether our near future be furthering our education within a college setting, serving our country through our enlistment into America's armed forces, joining or taking over a family business or mastering our passions in trade school, let us continue to allow our accomplishment to unite us, to bring us together to celebrate as we are here today. Let's continue to follow each of our district distinct paths, but continue to achieve great accomplishments to celebrate together as a united people. Good evening. On behalf of the class of 2020 and myself, Callan Johnson, Secretary of the Senior Class, I'd like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to everyone that we see on a day-to-day -day basis, but more importantly, those we do not. I'd like to recognize our Canyon ISD Board of Trustees, Bruce Cobb, Bill Jenkins, Jim Murphy, Jennifer Weingartner, Randy Darnell, Linda Henders, 
Catherine Wiegand, and Superintendent Dr. Fushin. Once again, I'd like to express the Class of 2020's gratitude to the commitment to Canyon ISD uh, for all you do, for putting what's best for us first and foremost. God bless for what you do. Hello, everyone. My name is Bethany Rogers, and I am the president of the Class of 2020. I'm here today to present the class gift. When choosing the class gift, we wanted to pick something that would not only honor Randall High School, but would also honor the class of 2020. One thing we wanted to express was the aspect of Randall High's mission that Randall High School graduates must be equipped, motivated, and committed to be lifelong learners. In order to express this, we wanted to continue the tradition of presenting the Raider Scholarship to an upcoming senior in order to honor those who come after us. Along with the Raider Scholarship, we recognize that the class of 2020 has endured many hardships during this school year. Therefore, we also wanted to honor the class of 2020 by presenting a monument that we will forever be remembered by. This monument will be placed in the West Building for future Raiders to see. We hope that this monument will encompass what being a Raider is all about because the class of 2020, through enduring this hardship, has expressed not only the strong spirit of a Raider, but also the integrity and honor of a Raider. We hope that this monument and the continuing of the Raider Scholarship will bring honor not only to Randall High School, but also to the class of 2020. Thank you. On behalf of Randall High School, uh, we accept your gift. Thank you. This is going to be a gift that's going to continue to give for uh, years to come. Thank you, Bethany. Raider Nation has a rich tradition of service to our country through military service. This year's graduating class is no different. Following in the footsteps of many proud and brave Raiders that have come before them, to all those past and present servicemen and women, we say thank you. We thank you for your courage to face unknown adversity. We thank you for your bravery to fight for our freedoms that we all enjoy. We are humbled at the sacrifice you chose for the greater good of all people. G.K. Chesterton once said, the true soldier fights not because he hates what is in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. To all current graduates going into the service through enlistment, ROTC, or a service academy, Raider Nation will be praying for you. We will be here for you. And we will support you in all that you do. Because we are a Raider family. The decision you have made was not an easy one. It took great consideration, thought, and prayer. But the decision you have made is a blessing to our country. And we hope it's a lifetime blessing for you. On behalf of Raider Nation, Thank you for serving our nation. In an ever-evolving world, the environment of education and the culture of teaching changes shape every time we blink. Due to this dynamic nature, different needs and skills are called upon inside and outside of the classroom. Teachers nowadays hold more responsibility in helping their students deal with personal issues, and students often view teachers as trusted and near familiar characters in their lives. With this comes the need for teachers to possess an ability to connect with today's kids and build strong student-teacher relationships on top of developing techniques to teach in a way that is more liberal and less linear. Having that in mind, this year's Teacher Excellence Award is more than just a title in mere formality. It is truly a transcendent achievement that marks the precedence and example for years and years to come. It weighs even greater because of who specifically has been selected as the recipient this year. Not only can I attest to that, but many other students here at Randall High School can too. As someone who has only recently stepped foot onto the Randall campus, it goes without saying that this award proves that this teacher is more than just a teacher. Being able to make such an impact in the short span they have been here shows how influential they are in connecting with their students. 
The recipient is a native of the Grand Canyon State, born and raised there for the entirety of her childhood. Being surrounded by a supportive family, she has always gone links for her passion in athletics. From less traditional sports such as competitive swim and cheer, to more popular sports such as basketball and track, she has never been away from the thrill of competition. Going away to a small college in North Texas, she decided to pursue a career in coaching. By building a strong connection with the staff and athletic department, she was able to find a place to settle down here at Randall. She has been here for four years and plans to continue strong with the Raider tradition of loyalty. On top of coaching freshman basketball, she, is also, she also successfully teaches English 4, arguably one of the toughest classes to teach well. Being seniors ourselves, we know how hard senioritis is sometimes, and especially being in an English 4 class where there is a lot of pressure, a lot of preparation in college level writing. She is undeniably a caring figure, and it shows with her students. All of her students absolutely love her. Managing back to being able to build connections, she is able to do it with ease, and that is why she is adored. This doesn't go unnoticed either. Dr. Myers, one of our assistant principals, notes that she is able to make learning fun, something that students want to do. While Sue Hare, head of the English department and teacher celebrity, complimented that she is a natural born teacher who has always had the heart for educating young people while loving and leading them into responsible adulthood at the same time. On top of that, she was selected to act as an administrative assistant last year, showing that she has the capability to set herself apart from other teachers. The recipient of this year's award is especially special to me. I had the privilege of having this teacher as a coach my freshman year. This was her first year to coach at Randall. No one knew what type of coach to expect. However, throughout the many games and practices, it had become apparent that we were blessed with a fun, caring, hardworking, and understanding coach. At the end of my freshman year, I decided to join theater. I knew that if I wanted to keep my grades up, I would need to drop basketball. My coaches and I had a meeting scheduled to talk about the next year. While I went into the meeting expecting a reaction of disappointment and frustration, I was surprised with an attitude of understanding and acceptance. She encouraged me to pursue my passions in addition to academics. This made me realize that she truly does care for the student more than the game. She supported my decision and came to all my shows, as well as keeping in touch about my grades. Although I quit basketball my freshman year, every time she saw me in the hall, I was greeted with a huge smile and a loud hello. This is why she is so deserving of this award. She makes her classroom fun for her students and works hard to support them. She knows her students on a personal level, which is why so many of my classmates have nominated her for this prestigious award. Everything that the Teacher Excellence Award is built on describes the recipient perfectly, and it doesn't even capture the full image. That is what any teacher should strive for. For the recipient, they have already achieved what it means to be an excellent teacher, and they have many, many years still to come. On behalf of the students and staff at Randall High School, I'd like to present this award to Mrs. Jenna Jesko. Good evening. I am honored to present to you this year's Sterling Award winner. As always, this year's list of student nominees include Raiders who are exceptionally hardworking, well-rounded, and talented young adults. The class of 2020 is a remarkable group of students who have made great contributions to Randall High School. <clears throat> the Sterling Award began as a way to honor a student who consistently strives for excellence, someone with determination, perseverance, and a strong character. The Sterling Award is our way of saying thank you for being outstanding during your four years here at Randall. In addition to receiving a plaque of recognition, this student will also receive a $500 scholarship gifted by the Education Foundation. This year's Sterling Award winner has left a positive mark on Randall High School during her four years here. Mrs. Elaine Lawrence described this student as an amazing young woman. She said, this student is warm, kind, and has a deep compassion for others. She is always positive, always smiling, and she works hard to be the best she can be in all areas of her life. Mrs. Kinna Van Meter said, 
As strong as her academic ability is, this student's ability and desire to develop relationships with her peers and with others is even stronger, which is truly admirable. In basketball, her coach, Brooke Walthall, described her as hardworking and persistent, but insisted that what makes her the incredible person that she is today is her great big heart and how she loves people. Her love for her family is apparent, and she also has a very close bond with her sister. In the classroom, she works hard to maintain her academics while balancing athletics. One of her teachers, Trevor Johnson, said, this student has a strong work ethic, leadership skills, and a charisma that engages everyone around her. She has played basketball all four years here at Randall. This year, she was chosen as team captain. In addition, she served on the FCA leadership team and was voted as MVP. While working hard, she also still manages to have some fun. Her coaches said that her favorite color is glitter, <laughs> and she is even known to wear pink sunglasses while running cross-country meets from time to time. If you see this student at basketball games or even in the hallways, you will witness her cheering on her teammates or encouraging other students around her. In the fall, she will be attending McMurray, where she will continue to play basketball while she pursues her academics. Coach Jenna Jesko said, Claire possesses the ability to make anyone and everyone feel important. She embodies all of the positive characteristics of Randall High School. Congratulations to this year's Sterling Award winner, Claire Headings. Hello. I have the honor of delivering best wishes to the graduating class of 2020. I know this is not what we envisioned when we thought about the end of senior year. We had dreams of our senior prom, final banquets, and a traditional graduation ceremony. We envisioned going to graduation parties, having a senior skip day, and getting to sign our yearbooks together during these last weeks of school. It's easy to be heartbroken about never walking the halls as a Raider again, not getting to say a final goodbye to our classmates, and not getting the opportunity to thank our teachers for the time, effort, and tools they have given all of us to help us succeed in our futures. While it is easy for us to list everything that has been taken away from us during these last couple months of school, the disappointments that we're experiencing now shouldn't take away from the memories and friendships we've made, the lessons we've learned, the knowledge we've obtained, or the victories we've celebrated together during the past four years of our lives. A situation that has been uncontrollable shouldn't control and define our lasting thoughts about the accomplishments and memories that this class shares together. I will always remember the class of 2020 as we've all grown together as our class since our days at Greenways Intermediate and have continued to grow together as we've gained new classmates and friends along the way. Although we are currently separated, we are still continuing to grow with these lessons we are learning right now where this class has proven to be resilient and vigilant despite any challenged obstacle and transition thrown our way. That gives me the confidence that our class is prepared for the future and will be able to accomplish anything they set their minds to in life beyond high school. And the reality of where we are now though is that we're already on to what's next, where all of us will be starting from scratch. It's exciting, but it's also very scary. However, I know we'll continue to apply what we've learned. We'll be able to persevere and grow in a new environment where it's gonna seem like everyone is smart and successful. But I know we'll be able to succeed as well as we've been pushed during our high school years to succeed amidst a well-rounded class of students. So right now, while our class might be missing out on these final goodbyes of high school, we do get an early welcome to our future. And I'm so excited to see how each person in our class is gonna keep it classy and to succeed in their future endeavors. I wish everyone the best on their own path to success in the new journey they are about to embark on. And I want to thank every classmate, teacher, friend, parent, and administrator for how they've all contributed to my own journey. Thank you. Welcome, school board members, students, parents, and to the camera that I am looking at to our graduation ceremony, or at least 
the closest thing to a graduation ceremony that was possible. First of all, I'd like to make a note of appreciation for the temptations you all withheld to tune into something else during this graduation at home. I know us students felt that temptation when we had Randall at home. This is it, we're graduating. However, this graduation is less of a ceremony to receive a piece of paper and more of a ceremony to welcome the beginning of the adult walk of life we'll be starting. Some of us will join the workforce, some of us will go into the military, and others will go on to receive higher education. Of those going on to university, some, in the wise words of Joe Exotic, might never financially recover from that. We're sorry for that, parents. In the BC times at Randall, BC, as in before COVID, our class has endured many events. A brief list of things our class has endured. A minimum of 1,200 lecture hours per school year, many tests, quizzes, and assignments, three other classes to survive Randall before us, victories and losses of all types. A snow day at Randall, which us students thought never would happen, our bathrooms being lit on fire multiple times, many earthquakes during lectures due to construction, the firing and hiring of faculty members, as well as the immigration and emigration of students, the start of a new principalship, the ending of a notable presidency and the inauguration of a unique presidency, and the coronation of the Tiger King, as well as the coronation of a virus. These events and many others, as with COVID, have only brought this class further together. And much like these events have passed through Randall, this class is having its final pass through Randall. Many of us thought we would know what to do by the end of high school, at least I did. But as a great philosopher once said, I knew exactly what to do. But in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. But those events didn't stop us, and neither did the coronavirus, so this class won't let a little uncertainty get in our way. That's what Randall teaches us. And I also thought that by the end of high school, we would have our lives planned out. And well, 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 how the turns table. Because now we're going on to new beginnings with an even bigger stage than high school and even less certainty. Like our profound philosopher also said, sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. But if we keep the values Randall has taught us, minus lighting bathrooms on fire, I think that we'll do just fine in the wilderness that is the realm of possibilities of life and we'll successfully find where we're supposed to go along the way. And to note on the bathrooms, zero Randall bathrooms have fallen victim to fire this year, maybe because of the quarantine, but I like to believe that it's due to Randall and the better person it teaches us to strive to be. Randall, along with our profound philosopher who goes under the name of Michael Scott, teaches us that you should never settle for who you are. And he's right. There's always room for improvement. Or if you're happy with who you are, there's always room to be happier, just like tigers always made Joe Exotic happier. And Randall, along with the journey of 12 years of education, has taught us how to improve upon ourselves and how to be happy. Or maybe it wasn't high school that taught us that, but a great class that others wish they had. So after grabbing our diplomas, we should let the fire of self-improvement and the pursuit of happiness burn in us like the bathrooms at Randall have burnt. And may we spread the values that Randall taught us like the coronavirus has spread across the world. Right now, I'm speaking to a camera in an empty auditorium. Some might enjoy giving a speech this way, but I do not. For all of the parents, I understand that watching your child get a diploma through a recording is upsetting. A recording does not do justice to the accomplishments that our class has had these past four years, yet I've been chosen to talk about them anyway. I've been chosen to give this speech because I'm valedictorian. And the only reason I'm valedictorian is because of all the support that my friends, coaches, and teachers have given me these past few years. I would specifically like to thank a few. To the teachers I have had for multiple years, like Ms. Clark, Mr. Matthews, and Senora Lopez, thank you. To every teacher that has coached me in a competition, Coach Hewitt, 
Coach Johnson and Coach Broadhurst, as well as Ms. Clark again, Ms. McElroy, Ms. Unger, and Mr. Jackson, thank you. I would also like to thank our administrators, like Mr. Singleton, for their continued support. I owe this honor of being valedictorian to them, and I give them full credit. Because I have been so dependent on the help of others, if administrators wanted to pick someone special to give a speech, they would not have picked me. There's nothing special about a kid who rode the bench in basketball for two years and then quit. There's nothing special about a kid that got rejected from 75% of the colleges he applied to. And there's nothing special about a kid whose biggest achievement is a test score. If Randall wanted to pick someone special to give a speech, they would have chosen one of our students joining the military, like Braden Cunningham. Or they could have picked one of our incredible artists, like Emma Ams or Abigail Davis. Or maybe one of our many spectacular athletes, like Zoe Parker, who signed with the college to play volleyball as just a sophomore. Or one of our wrestlers that seems to win a state championship almost every year. Before I wrote this speech, I asked Mr. Singleton if he knew all the different achievements that our class had accomplished. In fact, he's been keeping notes all year, and that list was far too large for me to cover. Unfortunately, Singleton's list was still shorter than it should have been because many students at Randall have had their stories cut short. We should have sympathy for the baseball team that never got to play a final season, the track team that never got to compete at state, the soccer team who under the new coach, Luke Strong, had their best season in years but never got to complete it, and Randall's theater who won state last year but will not get to perform this year. This last one is especially disappointing for me. Randall Theater has had several people that are important to me, but there are two in particular that I would like to single out. One is my girlfriend, Aspen Malone, who is the smartest, most talented, and prettiest girl I have ever met. She motivates me to become a better person every day because she is so far out of my league, yet acts as if it is the other way around. The other person is last year's valedictorian, Christian Hurd. I'm bringing up Christian because he gave an excellent speech last year, but he misspoke at one point, and I would like to correct him. Last year, during graduation, Christian implied that his class was the most accomplished group of students to ever walk the halls of Randall. This is incorrect. The class of 2019 is not the most impressive group of students to attend Randall. The class of 2020 is, and I know that. I've seen what every one of you can accomplish at Randall, but I also know what those accomplishments mean. Our talented artists that I mentioned before aren't just good at drawing. They are creative individuals, and I know their creativity will allow them to find unique solutions to every challenge they are faced with. When I look at our athletes, I know that their abilities extend far beyond sports. I see their work ethic that push them to succeed in athletics, and know that it will push them to succeed in many other disciplines. When I look at our band students, I don't just see kids who are good at playing instruments. I see a group of individuals who are perfectionists and will always strive to be the best at whatever they do. For the past four years, I've watched the potential of this class grow and grow. I have complete faith in the fact that we, the class of 2020, will achieve any goals that we set our mind to. I have one last thing I would like to say. This year is an election year we will all be 18 by November, and we all need to vote. I do not care who you vote for. At Randall, I have been lucky enough to have a friend group that is tolerant of my beliefs, and in turn, I'm tolerant of theirs. One of my friends, Danny Turner, mentioned that he might want to go to college at UT. During lunch, one day I asked, will it bother you that the people down there are very liberal? He replied, no. Everybody has a reason for what they believe in. He actually said that, and it's true. What a simple statement of understanding. If you watch TV and watch the news like I do, you constantly hear politicians preach about unifying our country, but then proceed to bash their opponents. I'm not saying that the way we unify is through having the same beliefs. That will never happen. What we need to do is be patient and tolerant instead. I have opinions that are very unpopular for Amarillo, but I believe in the things I do because I want to make our world a better place. 
and everyone does. I know that my friends who don't share my beliefs also want to make the world a better place. We just disagree on how. And disagreeing on a method for reaching the same solutions is not a justifiable reason for division and hatred. I should know. I disagree with my friends more than most anyone does, but I still value and respect them. My friends disagree with me more than they disagree with anyone else, but they still value and respect me. Because of that, I have loved the people at Randall, and that's why I have loved my time at Randall. Thank you. Good evening. The speeches and recognitions that our students just gave were excellent. Thank you to each of our seniors that have made this day possible. I would also like to recognize our senior class sponsor this year, Mr. Matthew Driver. Mr. Driver, you have done an outstanding job at helping guide this senior class. Thank you. Today we are taking advantage of this opportunity to honor and celebrate our graduates of the class of 2020. I wanted to take a moment to really magnify the importance of the students that you are about to see walk across the stage. Often we tend to look at the successes of a student being a result of the school they attend or community they are in, but it's actually the other way around. Randall High School and its success are not shaped merely by the walls that define it, but rather by the incredible people that contribute to the success of one another throughout the school year. These seniors, the teachers and staff and parents are what drive the success of not a singular building or person, but the many diverse personalities and individuals on our campus. Time and time again, this is magnified through the successes we see of our seniors and their leadership throughout their four years at Randall High School. To the teachers and staff of RHS, in addition to the thousands of hours you have worked with each of these seniors while they have attended RHS, you have consistently looked for ways to challenge them to go above and beyond. You have committed yourselves and dedicated your hearts to helping each one of these students in their individual pursuit of advancement beyond high school. You had the opportunity this spring to show just how amazing you are. In one week, you completely changed and modified how we have approached the traditional educational setting. Not because you wanted to, but because you knew this was the best way you could support our students given the uncontrollables that had been presented to you. You each did this with grace and dedication, with a focus not on yourselves, but on our students and their needs. Teachers, staff of RHS, I thank you for your tireless dedication to our students and their successes. You have truly done an amazing job this school year. We have a couple of very special teachers and staff that are retiring this year, that have dedicated their lives to the advancement in a career that is focused on our students and their individual abilities to be successful and grow into the young adults they are today. First, Mrs. Sue Hare, who has dedicated her career to the education of our students and to the values of Canyon ISD and Randall High School. Her impact will forever be felt at Randall High School and exemplified in the students she has taught in class. And Mr. Darrell Baxter, who has consistently worked to support our students and staff at RHS and dedicated himself to our values and growth of our students. Congratulations to each of you on a very successful career in education. We wish you the best as you embark on this new journey in your life. To our parents and families, in a time in our society that has asked you to take on challenges that none of us as parents could ever thought or ever would have thought would happen. You have done so with the same dedication and passion that you have shown the last four years. I speak on behalf of our teachers, administrators, and counselors when I say thank you. Thank you for your communication, support, and love for our students that has helped them grow into the young adults they are today. Seniors, this is an extremely difficult and confusing time for many of us. You have risen to each and every challenge in front of you and have dedicated yourselves to prepare for life beyond high school. You were challenged this fall to be the leaders of our campus and commit to being the best you possibly could be. Not only did you embrace that challenge, but you have far exceeded the expectations of many. You were challenged again this spring with the closing of our buildings. 
Our fine arts, academics, and academic competitions were interrupted, leaving us with the question and a lot of what ifs. The traditions of awards nights, banquets, and celebrations were altered. You have faced many adversities this spring that no other class before you has been challenged to face and overcome. Yet, you have continued in the most difficult of educational settings to show us your leadership and dedication and commitment to one another. You have heard from several of your classmates tonight about how you must not fall to the uncontrollables of your present or past, but rather embrace the things you can control for your future. Continue to persevere and let every experience in life, good or bad, make you stronger and wiser. Choose to be better or get better at life and work hard. Your leadership has pushed your class in Randall High School to achieve many accomplishments in academics, fine arts, career and technical education, and athletics. Your dedication has led individuals or teams in representing us or qualifying to represent us at the state level in Texas Association of Future Educators, who won a state championship, art vase competitions at the state level, in fine arts with band members being recognized at TMEA for all state band, in academics, volleyball, girls cross country, girls wrestling, cheerleading, and bowling. You led us to a back-to-back -back 5A Texas UIL Team State Championship in boys wrestling, a championship that saw one of the largest, if not the largest, margins of victory at a state, at a state championship. These were controllables from your past that should guide your pursuit to follow your passion and purpose in life. Seniors, you have made us proud. For those of you with our seniors right now, realize you're with someone special. They each have talents and skills they are just beginning to realize and grow in. Embrace these seniors and encourage their continued growth. Celebrate their progress and achievements and enjoy these moments we can control. Seniors, remember to come back and visit. Let us know how you're doing and about the many successes we know you'll have. Be bold, be kind, and remember what has made you stronger in your purpose-driven journey. Dr. Flushi, I hereby certify that these students have met all the requirements set forth by the Texas Education Agency in order to receive their high school diploma or certificates of completion. It is an honor to present to you and the members of the Canyon ISD Board of, Board of Trustees the graduating class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Singleton. On behalf of the Canyon ISD Board of Trustees, I accept the recommendation to confer these graduates, these seniors as graduates of Randall High School. Congratulations, seniors, on your accomplishment. I want to express my thanks to your parents and families who have been supporting you along this journey. Also, thank you to all the teachers and the school staff who have helped you reach this point. Seniors, you are not just another senior class. In fact, you are likely the most revered senior class in modern history. Our educators, your family, and this whole community have an emotional connection with the class of 2020 because the traditions that are longstanding for every senior class have been altered or cannot be redeemed. Many of you were born in the fall of 2001 or the spring of 2002. You came into the world in the midst of an event that changed our country known as 9-11. And now you complete your K-12 education in the midst of a different world-changing event called COVID-19. You know, for matters outside of your control, your semester has been changed. My message to you is, it's about goal setting and it's about this phrase. It's not the moments of struggle that define us, it's how we respond. You're going to become a fantastic adult. However, you don't just wake up one morning and say, today is the day. So here's a story about the first people to reach the summit, summit of Mount Everest and how this is similar to your plan to reach your achievements. Set goals toward a career. For, Mount, for the Mount Everest journey, a pair of men named Tenzing Norgay and Edmund Hillary had been part of a mountain climbing expedition 
uh, for several years. They were skilled at mountain climbing and leading expeditions up mountains. So goal number one, seniors, look for a career that is a match between something you're good at and something you enjoy doing. Use the gifts and talents that you have to pursue your interest and grow those talents. In preparation for their goal, Tenzing and Edmund were part of numerous expeditions on Mount Everest. They learned about the preparations and supplies that would be needed to try for the summit. These climbers knew different routes up the mountain and decided on the best path. They learned it takes 19 days for a round trip just to the Everett Base Camp. Once at the Everett Base Camp, it takes an average of 40 days to climb to the peak of Mount Everest. My second point of goal setting. Goal number two, seniors. Determine what skills and the best path you need to help you reach your career or your profession. Prepare very carefully for the trip and approach the journey at a steady space, pace. Each day, take a step forward toward your career. Each day, get better. Edmund and Tensing, they assembled a team of experienced climbers and they established support camps along the way. They couldn't venture on the journey without a team of support. My third point of goal setting, goal number three for the seniors. Find the people you admire and role models who work in your chosen career area. Get to know them and allow them to support the steps you take. The climate around Mount Everest, Mount Everest it makes climbing impossible due to the high winds, the extreme sub-zero temperatures. It is only when the winds die down in May and again in September that a window of opportunity opens and conditions are safe enough for the climbers to make the final push to the summit. In high elevations of thin air, climbers experience their share of sickness, avalanches, crevasses, crevices, and sudden snowstorms. This leads to my fourth point of goal setting. Goal number four for the seniors. Anticipate events to come. What's coming around the corner? Know those things. Ready yourself for opportunity and ready yourself for the setbacks. With a journey that takes many days, there's no instant gratification. On the mountain, it can be, a depress it can be depressing with the bitter cold and only the very basics of food and shelter. It can be demoralizing to the team. In fact, in 1947, on a prior attempt, Tenzing was unsuccessful in reaching the summit. To conquer the mountain, Tenzing had, had to constantly look upward and encourage his team. He was the voice of hope. In a similar way, your school year seniors here at home, the circumstances were taken away of some of the joys and celebrations from performances, from sports, awards banquets, and even the usual ceremony for graduation. These challenges can be disheartening. Point number five of goal setting. Goal number five, be the power of hope among your friends and colleagues. The power of one person, the power of one person is all it takes to give people hope. Wear a positive attitude as you greet each day. In 1953, Tenzing, Nor Tenzing Norgay and Edmund Hillary were the first to reach the peak of Mount Everest. This is the highest point on the earth, and they were the first to ever be there. Seniors, you are leaving our doors to begin your journey toward a productive career. You have the ability to reach the achievement that you set, just as Tenzing and Norgay and Edmund Hillary had in their ability to reach the top. I hope these goals might help you on your path. Remember, it's not the moments of struggle that define you. It's how you respond. Congratulations, and I wish you the very best in the years to come. Thank you. Benjamin Michael Stormer. Carlo Rafael Garcia. Macy Nicole Morris Preston Bryant Fagan Heen Doan 
Muni Ali. Aspen Sienna Malone. Bethany Hope Rogers. Trenton James Ferris. Andrew Ethan Michael Atwood. Mackenzie Elizabeth Carroll. Emmett James Sneederjohn. Callan Tate Johnson. Vaughn Elena Blackwell. Avery Claire Blackwell. Jacob Joe Andrada. Jonathan Wayne Allen Ballard Snelson. Alyssa Joan Arias. Colton Acock. Haley Jean Allgood. Emma May Ams. Samuel Lauren Strong. Jordan Cooper Ash. Baylor Slade Avery. Abigail Paige Davis. Clorinda Maya Donaldson. Brant Sterling Allison. Brennan Reed Ashlock. Jet Talon Baldwin. Madison Grace Ashton. Harley Jade Albert. Jonathan Caleb Barba. Evan Jean Boyette. Cassidy Taylor Beck. Haley Nicole Berg. Brendan James Carvajal. Chelsea Nicole Lynn Barkley. Torin Sage Barrientos. Colton Belote. Michael Kenneth James Branham. Zoe Elise Parker. Cherise Rochelle Bird. Margaret Rose Bridenbaugh. Caitlin Lissette Batag. Manuel Rudy Bryce. Cooper Bryce. Tyler Renee Caldwell Wood. Madison Michaela Berkwin. Isaiah Noel Carballo. Chol Bowl. Shaley Marie Birch. Valerie Love Cardenas. Joanna Grace Britton. Austin Lee Chambers. Sierra Hope Buse. Nathaniel Ray Castillo. Braden Gage Carlton. 
Elizabeth Deanne Cates. Destiny D. Marie Martin Coleman. Michael Anthony Carbajal. Tesla Brianne Bunch. Brennan Charles Carr. Janessa Celeste Cervantes. Ivan Gavin Casas. Carl Cade Chisholm. Morgan Elizabeth Cleaver. Megan Victoria Cleaver. Tavian Chanze Combs. Samantha Lee Cook. Caitlin Alexa Craven. Miles Christopher Crane. Casey Lee Chadwick. Josue Saeed Chaitis. Kaylee Gail Connell. Alyssa Marie Cooper. Cassandra Delyn Crowley. Braden Scott Cunningham. Look at the. Juan Miguel Cordova. Jayton Anthony Cruz. Miles Allen Davis. Nicholas Nathaniel Davis. JC Mikkel Day. Destiny Michelle Davis. Hope Rose DeAndre. Opal Renee Davy. Brian Eli Dominguez. Tabitha Echo Manasco. Tate Allen Davison. Tanner Elijah Davison. Alicia Marie Del Fierro. Caden Taylor Dodgen. Gregory Allen Dean. Sarah Elise De La Cruz. Sierra Miranda Baca. Blaine Jaden Evans. Anthony Michael Fagan. Martina Alexa Inslee. Kendalee Paige Duran. Carly Renee Eckert. Benjamin Duarte. Alicia J. Egger. Brandon Lee Ellison. Max Ian Etheridge. Alejandro Luis Diaz. Hannah Lee Edwards. Corey Matthew Eifert. Nicholas Alexander Edmondson. Peyton Brian Embry. Rachel Lee Flood. Harley Joe Ferris. Emirani Marla Donaldson. Zoe Gabriela Dene Gutierrez. 
Shay Lynn Esposito. Brianna Claire Ford. Anna Lee Jean Ford. Tyron Deshawn Ford. McKenna Sky Fortin. Sydney Michelle Vanelli. Trey Avery Franz. Austin Bradley Fox. Sarah Grace Forrest. Haley Dawn Garrett. Elijah Michael Gallegos. Elgin Godinez. Katriana Dawn Garcia. Robert Noah Garcia. Caden Kyle Ham. Tristan Gonzalez. Cody Joe Goodwin. Brooklyn Sage Greer. Taylor Lynn Gaddis. Monica Gray. Zachary Joe Garcia. Jacob Isaiah Guillen. Bradford Wade Grant. Declan Phoenix Griffin. Layla Kathleen Green. Caden Michael Guzman. Maddie Grace Hagenson. Tanner Reese Haddock. Jacelyn Joe Heck. Lacey Megan Hamilton. Maya Nicole Harris. Taylor Ann Hathcock. Michael Blaine Hughes. Joshua Jimenez. Blade Michael Harmon. William Travis Henderson. Robin Larray Hay. Jimena Jara Martinez. Bailey Ann Hermesmeyer. Carter Michael Heiselman. Bradley Hawkins. Katriana Renee Heredia. Claire Elizabeth Headings. Jaden Herbert. Jalen Gary Hester. Tyler Andrew David Holland. Ryan Nutson. Aspen Renee Hill. Liberty Jewel Hip. Jacob Ryan Hernandez. Axel Herrera. Addison Paige Howard. Thomas Cooper Jones. Austin Ryan Johnson. Madeline Sue Kettles. Hon Hon. Hugh Lee. 
Caden Jacoby Jones Bailey Megan Holland Chelsea K. Judd Haley Reese Jarnigan Caleb Kreitzer Jacqueline Pauline Klein Sebastian Jones Megan Lauder Alex Lacey Tammy Alyssa Janelle Aiden Johnson Alex Minari Craig Ryan Matthew Kettlehut Cheyenne Paige Kirk Aubrey Nicole Kirk Kiana Paige Colling Larson Stanley Liao Michael Lozado Jaime Lucio Alicia Lacrosse Womack Tanner Christian Lovato Jalen Danae Legrand Madison Alexandra Lang Logan Lorenz Reagan Alexandra Lopez Channing Elizabeth Lytle Justin Lee Austin Lynch Cody Ryan Lee Adrian Luis Christopher Ray Martinez Spencer Austin Maddox Jr. Ashlyn Beth Mallory Eric Mindenhall Christopher Mahoney Matthew Tegan Lowry Carlos Manuel Lira Kaya Elizabeth Lucero Savannah Noel Boschnowski Kristen Martin Molly Kai Lee Celeste Martinez Sadie Rayana Miles Alexia Marie Mendoza Elena Martinez Garrett Don Miller Christian Maupin Mackenzie Versace McNabb Natalia Masters Christina Nicole McWilliams Justine McAllister Cadence Dawn Miller Annalise Marie McLean Talon Lloyd McLean Landry Fletcher 
Boston, Melton. Heaven, Winter, Mejia. Hunter, Montez. Kyle, Donovan, McEvers. Betswa, Montez. Hadley, McLean. Chloe, Grace, Moore. Chloe, Rayana, Miller. Gage, Douglas, Moore. Peyton, Lynn, Brookshire. Michael, Lynn, Miller. Hannah, Marie, Moreno. James Morris. Patrick Mugisha. Jacoby Ray Norman. Michaela Nye. Jesslyn Rose Morales. Jaslyn Nava. Preston Strott Mullins. Grace Nyabatoire. Addison Sue Norman. Alex Perminter. Jaden Evan Meese. Alexis Nicole Ojeda. Tristan Timothy Mao. Angel Navarre. Paige Odom. Lane Garrett Nelson. Mason Sloan Nurick. Garrett Nunez. Austin Jean Owensby. Alexis Ordaz. Jordan Norton. Trinity Nicole Osteen. Brianna Ortega. Bryce Olison. Brady Parker. John Luke Wayne Pepe. Ariel Michelle Risselman. Angelina Isabella Pena. Mila Janelle Richard Grimes. Shelby M. Perkins. Brea Diane Roberts. Eugene Powell. Kevin Eugene Powell. Seth 
Xavier Porter. Kaylee Dawn Porter. Logan Posey. Christian Rohrbaugh. Abigail Ruth Marie Rich. Brighton Chance Pruitt. Lexi Nicole Reed. Harrison Leland Raymond. Alexis Richards. Ashlyn Ray Robinson. Trey Todd Ritholler. Stevie Bell Reinecke. Alexis Ray Powers. Jade Tara Reeves. Elias Rodriguez. Noah Baron Renault. Elena Aubrey Robinson. Zachary Perry Roy. Analia Nicole Ruiz. Azim Salievic. Braden Troy Salmon. Julia Nicole Ruiz. Shamar Avant Samuels Robinson. Caitlin Gabrielle Salazar. Alexis Schessler. Bernardino Salgado. Paige Rochelle Surratt. Maritza Marie Sandoval. Devani Yvonne Sinna. Marvin Sedano. Jacob Robert Schwarzenberg. Lauren Dion Brown. Alexandra Faith Sessions. Zachary Richard Simmons. Miranda Carol Lynn Seth. Jonathan Sharpie. JC Renee Sharber. Molly Hope Sheffield. Matthew Simpson. Brendan Silva. Trevor David Scott. Josiah 
Rose Skinner. Kinsey Nicole Sides. Braxton James Spear. Austin Charles Smith. Chloe Thompson. Anthony Santana Tobias. Trevin Keith Stacy. Skyler Colby Lee Strong. Jacob Roy Sternenberg. Matthew Ray Soria. Cody James Weston. Chloe Elise Stone. Eric Tu. Anthony Suarez. Diane Rita Ruth Smith. Kaylee Joy Taylor. Miles Joseph Strobel. Justin Levi Turner. Madison Renee Swimmer. Moses Isaiah Torres. Robert Wolf Rivera. Riley Elizabeth Trosper. Danny Jaron Turner. Mason Zane Tupin. Juliet Camille Valencia. Jewel Annalyn Torres. Robert Wade Erton. Alexia Ray Vargas. Elijah Adrian Velasquez. Kaylin Villarreal. Caitlin Deanne Wade. Adrian Kane Whitby. Topher Wilborn. Dylan Michael Goots. Dakota Allen Veal. Sarah Bick Trin. Faith Ashley 
Williams. Michaela Dove Warren. Lauren Claire Williams. Rocklin Elizabeth Wells. Kevin Bovachon. Macy Dale Weathers. Brooke Ann Ward. Kimson Gage White. Rebecca Morgan Williams. Heather Dorothea Green. Rigdon McCann Green. Seven Wilman. Rebecca Phelan Wheeler. Christiana Elizabeth Zuniga. Haley Reese Wilson. Kobe Jacob Wilson. Reese Anthony Wood. Joshua Neil Schmidt. Alexander Knight Sanchez. Noah Xavier Sanchez. Bailey Cheyenne Wilson. Calista Angela Essick. Nathaniel Piers Daney. Aiden Christopher Wright. Jacob DeAnthony Mills. Justin Peter Hernandez. Enrique Arturo Mata. Keith Nathaniel Moraz. Peyton Shay Irwin. Madison Grace Lee. Nicole Anna Crandall. Kobe Mark Franklin. Maddie Grace Freeze. Charlotte Morris. Kaylee Mitchell. Robbie Merrick. Chris O'Meara. Scarlett Catherine Rossi. Jaden Heaton.
graduates, families, and friends, please join me as we present to you the class of 2020. Graduates, it is time to turn your tassels. Thank you. I would like to thank my senior teachers, Mr. Driver, Coach Lynch, Ms. Clark, Ms. McElroy, uh, Mr. Matthews, and Ms. Bossinger. Shout out and thank you to my family, my teachers, my coaches, band directors, and everyone that's got me here today. Okay, yeah. thanks mom and dad. <laughs> thank you mom and dad, love you. I'd like to say a thank you to all my teachers and family who have supported me for the past 18 years. Thank you. And no cap, Rem is best girl. Thank you to my family, directors, and teachers for supporting me. <laughs> Move your tassel right to left. Um, thank you. I just want to thank all of my friends and family for helping me get along this way. Hi, my name is Andrew Atwood. I'd like to thank my grandparents and my parents. That's it. I just want to say thank you to my mom and my little sister and my dad and wreck them, baby. <laughs> All right, thank you to my mom, who is currently in New York fighting COVID-19 for inspiring all of my academic achievements. Love you, mom. I'd like to thank my family for all they do, all my teachers, and everyone who's got me here. Oh my here you go. I want to thank my mom, dad, and grandparents. I want to say thank you to my family and my teachers through getting me through high school. Okay, I'd like to say thank you to my family and my friends and the awesome teachers and staff at Randall High School. I would like to thank my parents and all the staff at Randall High School. Um, shout out Coach Tim McCune for always being there for me and supporting me no matter what in track and cross country. And thank you for thank you for this op awesome opportunity. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, I just want to thank my dad and all my family for this. I want to say thank you to my parents and my siblings for getting me this far, and I'm glad that I'm here. Uh, I'd just like to thank my friends and family and those who have supported me. I've been through a lot, and I'm just glad to have, you know, everyone who loves me to be around me. I just want to say thank you to my family and my coaches and everyone who helped me through the years. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents for push, pushing me to academically and I'd like to thank my cousins for helping me put myself out there socially. <laughs> um, I just wanted to thank my family and as well as the teachers who have been really supportive of me, especially Ms. Huseman and Mr. Matthews. Um, this year was a great one, and I couldn't have asked for a better supported group, so. I'd like to thank uh, my parents, uh, my sisters, the rest of my family, all of my teachers um, who have helped me along the way. I really couldn't have done it without them, and it means a lot to me, so thanks to all them. I just want to thank my parents for setting me up for the success and my grandma for helping me out so much. And I just want to thank everybody in high school that helped, made me, me, and just helped me become the person I am today. I want to thank my family for my graduation and everything that they've done for me. 
really get that. All right, I'd like to thank all of my teachers, the administrators, my family, and friends who helped me along the way. Thank you so much. I'm Jonathan Barbo. I just want to thank my family and all the teachers that helped me accomplish this goal. Okay. I uh, just wanted to say thank you to my family and thanks uh, for the opportunity of how, how I learned about stuff. Hopefully, um, hopefully those of y'all that are planning to graduate stay successful and stay in school. Thank you to my parents and all my family and all my supporters through high school. I'd like to say thank you to all my supporters and stay wild. Ah. Oh my god, I can't do it. Um, I just want to thank God for making all this possible and I want to thank all my family and friends for helping me get here. Okay, I would like to thank my teachers, my family, and my friends. Okay. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to Randall High School for giving me an amazing four years, and I couldn't be more appreciative of it. Thank you. Guys, want to take a photo? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'd like to say thank you to my friends and family for getting me here, just pushing me to succeed. There you go, just like that. <laughs> I just want to thank uh, Mr. Skank, Mr. Singleton, and Ms. Mallory for helping me go through high school. And one of my favorite teachers, Mr. Alley, for being a good teacher and helping me through. Good. Okay. Thank you, Randall High School, for an amazing four years. <laughs> All right. Am I good? Okay. I just want to thank my parents, my teachers, and especially my coaches everything that they've done. Thank y'all. I just want to thank my family for being so supportive and all my teachers for all their hard work and all my friends for giving me some great memories. Okay, um, thank you to everyone for putting up with me like all these four years. I really appreciate it. I'd like to thank all my family and friends and my teachers because they're the ones that helped me go through most of my tough times and really helped me go through the school. I want to thank all my family, friends, everybody that has given me the opportunity to be successful in what I'm doing so far. Fantastic. <laughs> Dang. Perfect. I just want to say thank you to my teachers, my friends, and my family. Go Raiders! I just want to thank my parents and my teachers for the constant support throughout the years. I want to thank all my uh, teachers and all my coaches and especially my family for uh, uh, helping me get here and being the person who I am today. Uh, I would just like to thank all my family and friends, my parents and house parents also, just to getting me where I am at this moment. Thank you. I just want to thank my friends, my family, and all my teachers. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to thank my parents and all the teachers who believed in me throughout all of my years of high school, and I'm happy to be graduated. Thank you to my parents for making me do my work, especially when I'm not in school, and to my teachers for making the work somewhat easy. Move this. Like that. I just wanted to say thank you to my family and my friends for everything you've done for me. Gonna cry. 
I just want to say thank you to all my family for supporting me 24-7 and I wouldn't be here without them. I want to thank them with all my heart. Uh, I guess thanks to my parents and everybody else. Thank you to my family and my friends and a special thanks to Coach James for always supporting me. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and my grandpa and my grandma, and everybody that's ever supported me. Oh. <laughs> um, well, I would like to thank my mom, and my grandparents, and my super awesome Thea for coming and being here today. Okay. Oh, and then the tassel. Boop. <laughs> Okay, I just want to say thank you to all my family, teachers, and friends. Um, this wouldn't be possible without y'all. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for all you've done. It's been a good 18 years with you guys. Thank you for everything you've done for me. And thanks to my family for helping me out through all this. And I appreciate it. Uh, Mom, Dad, I made it. Uh, class of 2020, I'm done. I would like to thank my parents for always being there for me, especially my grandma and my uncle because they were a great support during my senior year. Yeah, thank you mom and Guy for oh. getting us to where we are and thank you for the schools for everything you've done. Anything else? Yeah. I'll do yours. There we go. Yeah. Right. I want to thank my family and my friends for helping me throughout this journey and I want to thank Randall High School also. I want to thank all my family for helping me graduate. I'd like to thank God for keeping me safe and strong and my parents and family for all their love and support. I just want to say thank you to um, both my sets of parents for constantly supporting me through everything. Um, thank you to all the staff here at Randall. Um, it's been a great opportunity to go to high school here and I want to especially thank Coach Norman for everything he's done for me. Um, he, really, he really was a father figure out there for sports, for the sports world and he, he taught me a lot of life lessons. So. Thank you to him and to everyone else, so. I want to thank my teachers, my principal, and Randall for helping me. Thank you, that's it. I want to say thanks to all my family and my friends that have supported me to continue and doing my work to graduate and yeah. I want to thank my parents for helping me get this far. Thank you to my family, uh, to all my English teachers, and to Miss Hurt and Mr. Paxton from my art class. Okay, just want to say thank you to my mom, my stepdad Brent, and my dad, and my girlfriend, and all my teachers that helped me. Now what do I do? I just do this. Am I done? To the no. <laughs> okay. Um, even though she's not here right now, I would like to thank my mother for um, helping raise me and getting me to where I am today. I'd like to thank um, my parents and uh, the Randall High School Theater Department, and yeah. Thank you for my folks who helped me through high school. <laughs> so I just wanna say thank you to my family and friends for always being there for me and supporting me through this journey. Um, 
Thank you to the school and all my family for everyone for supporting me. Hi, I just want to thank my mom, my dad, and Brent for getting me through the last four years of high school. I would like to thank the teachers for putting up with me and my family throughout these four years. And I would like to thank my family for being there through this as well. Can't find it. I want to thank everyone that's helped me out through the years to graduate school. It's been a hard time, but finally got it done. I want to thank the Pale family for giving me a scholarship, and it's really uh, appreciated. Perfect. Um, I just want to thank my parents. They were big supporters. Um, they've helped me all 12 years through school, um, and everybody that has helped me. Um, thank you. <laughs> Thanks to band teachers, math teachers, history teachers, everybody. Uh, that's it. Oh. All right, I just want to thank my family, and uh, that's it. Thank you, Miss James and Miss Estes, for making my high school career just absolutely amazing. I love you guys. I just want to thank my friends and family for supporting me this whole way through high school and just thank all the staff at Randall and uh, yeah, just thank you. Hmm? Oh yeah. Thank you for all my family that supported me through this time through graduating through high school and thank you for all my wrestling coaches that have supported me through this and uh, appreciate it. Thank you. I just want to thank my mom and my dad for loving and supporting me and always pushing me to do my best. My sister for being a pain and Coach Gabe for buying me pizza. I want to thank my family for getting me here today and for always pushing me and supporting me for what I do. I want to thank my teachers and my coaches and all my classmates for loving and supporting me. Thank you. I just want to thank all my friends and family for helping me out throughout the years, making everything fun, and just making me have a great high school career. Thank you to my friends and family and my teachers for helping me get through high school. Thank you to my parents and family and my teachers for helping me through this journey of my high school career. It was a very honor to be at Randall High School. I just want to thank my family for helping me and never giving up on me through the pain and the smiles. And then I want to also thank my teachers for helping me grow these four years. First, I want to thank my mom for helping me get through high school with all the stuff that we've been through. Thanks to my brothers for keeping by my side and thank you to my teachers. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for putting up with me, getting me through school, and my older sister. To my family, thank you. I love you guys so much. Um, Emily Estes, Brooklyn James, and Cy Scroggins, thank you so much for being such amazing mentors. I'd like to thank my family for everything they did for me and all my coaches, too. I just wanted to say thanks, Mom, for uh, always calming down my throat about school. I finally did it. Um, I would like to thank my family and God for everything, for just helping me in life and really just pushing me to keep going forward and doing good in school. I'd like to thank my family and all my friends and teachers who have supported me throughout the years. I know you put up with a lot. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to thank my parents and my friends and everybody that's been with me along the way. I'd like to thank my parents and my amazing family and everybody that's came down to say hi and just moving and everybody that's just been here with me for the whole run. Thank you. I just want to thank my mom and my nana and my dad 
for getting me where I am today. I just want to say a big thank you to all of my teachers for the past four years. I've had unforgettable memories and I'm very proud to be a Raider. Once a Raider, always a Raider. <laughs> I'd like to thank my parents and the rest of my family for riding me through high school and helping me graduate. Uh, I just want to say thank you to my family. I want to say thank you to my teachers actually, they like, helped me out. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank God, especially for putting me in position to have such a blessed family, and they've helped me through everything. Um, I'd like to thank all my classmates, my teachers, my directors, and um, this was for you, Dad. I know you're looking down at me. Love you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> say thank you to my dad for raising us. <laughs> Just thank you for everything he's done. <laughs> I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my sisters, and everybody else in my family that has allowed me to get to this point. I just wanted to thank my mom, my dad, my whole family, and Mr. Singleton and Officer Slatton. Thank you all so much. There we are. I want to thank my family, my friends, and my coaches. I wouldn't be anywhere without them today. I want to thank my grandpa, and that's it. I just wanted to say thank you to my friends and family, principals, teachers, for helping me out during school. My dad, um, for getting me through hard times. My mom, for getting me through hard times through high school. Um, just, I just wanted to say thank you. I want to thank my mom, my dad, and all my family, and everybody who supported me throughout my whole senior year. Okay, I finally made it. Yes. Hey. I'm thankful for my parents because they've always supported me and had my back through everything, and we finally made it. I just want to thank all the teachers who supported me throughout the way. Thank you to the family and wonderful teachers at Randall that I had. I won't ever forget y'all. Thank you, Coach Skank. Thank you for everyone. All right. <laughs> I just want to thank my uh, family, my mom and dad the most. I want to thank my brother for everything that he's done for me and my sisters too. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for everything you did. Um, I just want to say thank you to mostly my family and my friends for getting me through just high school. I want to thank my cross country team who did just so much for me and my coaches and everyone who leaded me through high school. <laughs> I want to say thank you to both of my parents and my whole family for everything. I would like to thank my teachers for helping me get through high school and teaching me everything I need to know. And I want to give a special thank you to all the coaches that gave their time to me throughout high school. I'd like to thank my mom and my little brother. They've helped me a lot, and I would also like to give a thanks to my dad that's currently not here right now. I'm finally graduating. Uh, I'm really excited about this and very sentimental, but I want to thank everybody that's been with me throughout the whole year with my cheer squad, my teachers, especially my math teachers, and my two sisters who showed me that it was possible to graduate here. Oh. I want to thank, thank you for having me graduate. My parents have me graduate here at school. Just wanted to say thank you to all of my teachers and my parents and friends and family who helped me get through this wonderful journey. I can't find my tassel. <laughs> 
I want to thank my friends, my family for making this senior year as good as it can be. Oh. <laughs> thank you to all my teachers for making these four years a great experience. Thank you for everyone that supported me. Um, first off, I would like to thank my mom and my dad. They have worked their tails off to put me in this position. And my brothers for the support. <laughs> uh, thank you to my family and my teachers for always pushing me to be better and helping me be the person I am today. Thank you to all my teachers, friends, and parents, and to Randall High School for all of the memories. Oh. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me through everything, and also my grandparents for helping me throughout the way. Okay. I'd like to thank my mother and father and my sister Cheyenne, my grandmother Mary and Gloria, and Quajan and Savannah, and that's all. And your test. Oh, okay, yes. I I'd like to thank all my teachers who helped me get here over the past few years, and I'd like to most importantly thank my family for their never-ending support. I just want to say thank you to my mom and my grandparents for being here and my sister. Um, it's been a long journey and moving from Colorado has been a big part of it. So thank you to Randall for supporting me and being here for me. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to my friends and family and all my teachers helping me get through this. Thank you mom and dad for everything for the past 12 years. Thank you for sticking up with everything. Um, I love you guys. Thank you. I would like to say thank you to my family and all the teachers that helped me to make this happen. And I would like to thank especially my mom and dad for not giving up on me whenever everything was tough. And thank you. I would, I would like to thank all my teachers and my coaches that helped me get here. Uh, I just want to say thank you for my parents for guiding me through my youth. Thank you for my friends, family, and teachers for making this happen and for all the good memories. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents and everyone in my family and all the teachers through getting me through high school. I want to thank my family for supporting me no matter what I do in life. And that's it. Um, I want to thank all of my teachers and all of my coaches throughout the years. And I especially want to thank Senora Lopez and my family for everything they've done for me. I would like to thank everyone who loved and supported me. I pray blessings over you all. Class of 2020, let's make history. I'd like to thank my friends and family for this. I just want to say thank you to my two little sisters, my mom and dad, and my close friends. I would like to thank my parents, my grandparents, and all my family, and uh, the people that have given me the opportunities to be the man I am today. I just want to say thank you to my family, most of all. I just want to thank my friends, my family, and my teachers for getting me to where I am. I just want to thank my friends and family for helping me on this journey. And I hope I can make them proud in my future endeavors. I'd like to thank all my teachers and my parents for helping me throughout my life. Thank you, Randall High School, for giving me the best teachers, friends, and coaches I could have ever asked for. All right. 
I just want to thank my mom and my dad and my little sister, especially my Mimi as well. They, they helped me through everything through life and they really got me through high school. Thank you guys. Uh, I want to thank all my teachers that had to deal with me for the past four years. I want to thank my mom, I want to thank my grandma, I want to thank my stepmom and my dad. I just want to say thank you to my parents for helping me through this and also thank you to God for giving me this opportunity. Thank you all, my teacher, for like teaching me stuff and knowledge about world and stuff like that. And yeah, that's all. Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Hugh Lee and I'm really grateful for four years in, at Randall High School and I'm glad that I made it to 2020. It's really rocky for us, but I'm glad that I made it. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. I'd like to thank my family. I'd like to thank the staff, Canyon ISD, for everything they've done to get me to this point. Um, I would like to say thank you to my family and my friends and all the teachers who have helped me get to where I am today. <laughs> I want to thank my friends and my family for helping me achieve my goals. Woo. I just want to say thank you to all of my family, especially my mother and my father, and my baby brother. I guess I just... Okay. I'd like to thank my grandma and my mom for... Oh, there. That's annoying. Yeah, for um, helping me get past this year. I don't know what my tassel is. <laughs> uh, I'd like to big, give a big thanks to my mom and dad, uh, a huge thanks to Michael and Mallory and uh, Jeff Skank, they're a huge part of, basically the only part of why I graduated, so. So this time last year, <laughs> I was just in a really dark place and <laughs> I just thank God every day that I am where I am today because none of this would have been possible without him. <laughs> and also just a big thank you to my family for always believing in me when I couldn't believe in myself and always for loving and supporting me no matter what. Love you guys. <laughs> um, thank you to my family, all of the teachers at Randall that have helped me through this, Addison, my girlfriend. Thank you all. I'm done now. Yes. Oh. I don't know. Initially, it was a very, very hard time starting high school. You know, it's always scary. There's a lot of worries you have, and it was incredibly hard for me to start. But I found my place in the art club, so <laughs> that's pretty much it. Turn the tassel right there. <laughs> Um, thank you to my teachers and to my family for supporting me. I just want to thank my family and my coaches. I just want to thank all of the teachers and coaches, and especially um, Coach Burns for making my senior year so great. I just wanted to say thank you to my family and the school. Um, it's been a long year, but I'm happy I'm finally graduated. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart that helped me get here to this point. I love you guys. See you on the flip side. <laughs> I wanted to thank my family for being here and thank my school for still letting us have a graduation. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to thank my family and my friends and all my teachers that helped me get here. I just want to thank my family and say we made it. I just want to thank my grandparents and my parents for pushing me to finish school and pushing me to be the best that I could be and I wouldn't be here without them. 
I just wanted to thank my parents and family for supporting me throughout this journey. That's really it. Okay, I'd like to say thank you to the big four, my mom, my Aunt Christine, uh, my, and my two grandparents. It's been a ride, but it's been nice. Well, I just want to say thank you to my mom and my dad, my grandma, uh, the theater directors here at Randall, uh, all my teachers. They really had a big impact on my life. Uh, I'm going to show you how great I am. I'm thankful for my family and my friends. Uh, I just want to thank my family, thank God and my friends and my teachers for getting me to this point, and I'm excited for my next chapter. Um, I just want to thank every, all my teachers at Randall for just telling me all the stuff that I need to know in life. I want to thank Coach um, Scott for teaching me a lot of stuff um, that I'll learn later on in life. Um, I want to thank uh, Mr. Roberts, nicest man at the school. I want to thank our, our principal, Mr. Singleton, for everything he's done. And I want to thank Ms. Jesco for teaching me a lot of life lessons. Like how? I'd like to say thank you to my Nana for always encouraging me to do everything that I've accomplished. I'd just like to thank my family, you know, my teachers, my friends, just for supporting me through this whole year. And here we go, we're graduated, everyone. Uh, thank you to my family for always supporting me and my friends for making high school memorable and all of the fun memories I had. And um, I can't wait to see where I go next. I'd like to thank my parents and my teachers for doing the best they could during the crisis. Um, I just wanted to thank my friends and my family and all the teachers who helped support me through my senior year. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. I'd like to thank my mom, my older sister, my dad, my uh, grandma, my uh, grandpa, and a friend who passed away about black in uh, 2007. I just want to say thank you to my parents and my family for helping me get through the last four years of high school. Oh, shit. Thank you to my parents, my mom, and thank you for my grandma for always looking up on me, and of course my best friend Riley. <laughs> uh, I want to thank my mom and dad and all the teachers that helped me get to where I am. I wanted to thank my friends, my family, and everyone from Randall High School for letting me have the best years of my life and to many more after this. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to everybody who got me this far. Um, I just want to say thank you to my friends and family, and especially my mom for always pushing me and reminding me that everything is temporary. I want to thank my parents, God, my friends for helping me make it this far in life, and I'm just so happy to be here at this moment with them. Uh, I just want to thank all my teachers this year, <laughs> and that's it. just want to thank the teachers who became like our second parents and wish they were here. And they really deserve a lot of credit. Um, I just want to thank everyone that supported me through high school. I want to say thanks to my family, my friends, all the counselors that helped me, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I would like to thank my dad and my family for being there and supporting me through all my life goals. I want to say thank you to all of my teachers and all of my family, as well as my church group. Thank you for a wonderful high school career. 
I just like to thank my parents and all my teachers. I want to thank my family and the teachers that have supported me through Randall. <laughs> I want to thank my family and my friends for getting me here. Um, I'd like to say thank you to my family, friends, and teachers. I'd like to thank my parents and my coaches for preparing me for my future. Um, I would like to say thank you to my entire family and just everyone who couldn't be here with me today. Um, I put some pictures on my graduation cap of some members of my family who couldn't be here today. And I would like to thank my Omi for hemming my dress for me and my grandparents who couldn't be here and just, I love you guys. I want to say thank you to everyone who was there by my side all the way from kindergarten up to now. Um, I want to say I'm sorry to everyone that couldn't make it. I love y'all and a special thanks to Mr. Sheets and Mr. Hoover. I'd like to thank my family for keeping me going through this, supporting me, my teachers that have always been there for me, and uh, just everybody that's helped me along. Coach Skank, keep me out of trouble. But yeah, thank you for this school, Randall High School. Thank you. I want to thank God, my family, my friends, and coaches for supporting me throughout the journey. I would like to thank my parents, my mom, my dad, and all my brothers and sisters for pushing me to be better in life. And I would like to thank God for giving me the strength. No. I just want to say thank you to everybody and my family and my coaches, and I love y'all. I would just like to thank all the teachers who have helped me throughout the years here at Randall. It sure has been an experience, and I'm going to miss it a lot. Thank you all my teachers, my family. Thank you so much. Thank all my teachers and my parents. Thank you for my family and everyone for supporting me. Thank you to my friends and family for getting me where I am. I can't find it. Um, thank you to my mom, my dad, and my step-parents, um, and my little brother. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad and all of my family for supporting me throughout all of my school. I want to thank my parents, my family, and my teachers for teaching me that hard work is important and to always believe in myself. First off, I'd like to thank my mom and dad for where I am today, and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for, and my teachers and coaches for, thank you very much. I would like to thank my family, my friends, my coaches, and my daughter, Aubrey. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I just want to say thank you to my friends, my family, and all the teachers here that had to put up with me this year. That's all I got to say. Thank you. I'm thankful for my family and everybody who supported me in everything I went through. Thank you for everybody. I just want to say thank you to God, first of all, and also my family for getting me here today. Uh, thank you to all the teachers and coaches who made me who I am, and I'm forever grateful for Randall High School. All right. <laughs> I want to say thank you to all my friends and family that have been through with me through high school. Thank you to all my family and my friends and all my teachers for helping me get this far. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for me. Thank you. 
you for my family and my friends for supporting me throughout all of this. I want to thank my mom and dad and my friends and everybody who helped me through it. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank God, my amazing family and amazing teachers who helped me get to this next step in my life. Okay, I just want to thank everyone who supported me and gotten me to where I am today. I love you guys. I'm gonna do this. I would like to say thank you to all my principals and uh, my parents and everyone that supported me through the last 12 years of school. Um, I would just like to thank my family and my teachers, my parents especially, for pushing me to complete high school and yeah. I would like to thank my parents, my family, and my school counselor, Mr. Hubbard. Thank you for everything. I'd like to thank my teachers and the staff at Randall High School for giving me a great high school experience and I thank you I thank them for giving me a great high school experience. Yeah. Thank you to everyone who has helped me become who I am today and get through high school. I just want to say thank you to my family. Without them I wouldn't be where I am today. They're my rock, they're my go-to. Thank you. I want to say thanks to my family, my friends, everyone that supported me, and uh, hope I made you happy. I'd like to thank my friends, my family, everyone that's got me here. I'm excited to go in the Air Force, do some good things. That's about it. I just want to thank my family and my teachers. Miss Hooten, Miss Hal, Miss Rathbone, they all had my back. Thank you. I just wanted to thank my friends, my family, and uh, the teachers here at school that helped me where I'm at, um, develop uh, to where I'm at, and proud to be a Raider and graduate out of here, you know? But, Always go Raiders. I'd like to thank all my friends and family for everything they've done for me. To all my friends and family who've been in my life, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who supported me throughout high school. I want to say thank you to everyone who helped me through high school and my two best teachers, Ms. Shrigley and Mr. Warner, for helping me start my computer science career. Thank you. I would like to thank my friends, family, and my soccer coach. Hi, um, I just want to thank my parents and everybody who taught me lessons throughout high school. Randall is a good school. Some of the teachers are really nice and really cool. I appreciated them. Four years was a long time, but I finally made it. And then this. Um, I just want to say thank you to my family, to my friends, to my teachers for being there for me and supporting me through all this, and it really has been a journey. And thank you for making all this bearable. To 2020! <laughs> I would just like to thank all my teachers and my family for helping me throughout my journey of high school. <laughs> I'd like to thank my friends, teachers, and family for this. Thank you. <laughs> I want to thank all of my teachers that got me here and especially Mrs. Bossinger and Mr. Godwin. I want to thank my mother and my father for helping me through life and teaching me as a girl. Um, I would just like to say thank you to my family and my loved ones. I'm thankful for my family and my teachers. That's pretty much it. Um, I just want to thank my family and all my teachers.
Okay. Um, I just want to thank all my family and all my teachers that got me through all four years of Randall High School. I just want to say thank you to all my family who got me here because I definitely made it a lot harder than it was. And so, special thanks to my mom and dad. <laughs> I think it's all the teachers for my 13 years of school. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to all my friends and family. Yes, I just want to thank my family and friends for supporting me and loving me and you know, getting me through all this crazy ride. So thank you guys again. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank my mom and my family, and here's to graduating. Oh, thank you to my family and friends and teachers. All right. Thank you to all my friends and family that helped me graduate. I'd like to thank my parents uh, for giving me this far. And that's it. I'd like to thank all my educators and all the people who have helped me get this far in life. I know it will take me farther into my future. I want to thank my family for always pushing me to be the E to be the best I could be and to always give my all my effort. I want to say thank you to everybody that supported me, the family at Randall High School and everybody else and that's it. Thank you mom, thank you Jason. Grandma. There you go. I want to thank my mom and my dad and all the teachers that supported me. <laughs> okay. First and foremost, I just want to thank God for this opportunity to be here. I want to thank my parents because they're my backbone. I want to thank my church family and my friends. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the staff and close friends and family for sticking by us through this whole journey. This isn't how we wanted to graduate, but we couldn't have done it without y'all. Thank y'all. I just want to thank my teachers and my parents for teaching me to be a stronger person and a better student. All right, thanks to my family and my teachers who supported me throughout high school. I just want to thank my mom and my nana and my dad for getting me where I am today. I want to give a special shout out to my parents who have pushed me to become the person who I am today. And I want to give a shout out to my papa. I love you so much. And I made it. <laughs> and I'm glad to be a Raider. So. <laughs> Okay, I just want to thank my um, family and friends for um, helping me get to where I am, especially my teachers. Um, I wouldn't have done it without y'all, so thank you. Okay. I just want to thank my uh, parents, um, the people that have been there for me, and just everyone. Hey. Uh, I would just like to thank all the teachers and parents and adults in my life who have helped me to achieve what I've achieved and helping me uh, just get accepted into A&M and helping me in my future. Maybe. There we go. Uh, I want to thank my friends and family. <laughs> I'd like to thank my uh, mother and my father uh, for pushing me through. Thank my sister for just helping me go along the way. Uh, I'd also like to thank God. Uh, day through him has helped get through these tough times. And can't wait to see what he has for me in the future. I 
want to thank all of my family for supporting me throughout the years. I'd like to thank my family and my friends for helping me graduate high school. I'd like to thank my family and my friends for helping me graduate. <laughs> I'd like to thank Ms. Artho for being the best teacher I've ever had. I want to thank my theater directors and my debate coach and all my teachers for the awesome years that I've had at Randall. All right, I'd just like to say thank y'all, family, girlfriend. I know I've been a little crazy sometimes and y'all had to put up with my mess, but thank you for sticking through with me. Love y'all. I would like to thank my family, coaches, and friends to help me get here. Hi, how are you? I just want to say thank you to my parents and uh, help me get through these, four, these last four years and then also to my youth pastor, Donnie Conger. He's been a great mentor to me. I want to thank my parents and my teachers for everything in high school. I want to thank my mom and dad and grandparents for being here with me today. I want to thank my mom, my uncle, and my coach for everything they've done for me these past four years and just helped me get through all of high school. I just want to thank God, uh, my parents, my coaches, and all my friends for helping me through this year. Thank you, friends, family, and teachers. Thank you to my whole family and all my friends. Thank you to the teachers, the staff, for getting me through this, and officer. Big shout out to my family and friends and my teachers that have all helped me out through my high school career. Um, for the future, freshmen, don't give up on your dream because anything's possible. I just want to thank my family and, my, uh, and all my teachers who got me this far and got me to graduating with all the education. <laughs> I want to thank my family and friends and my teachers for helping me get to where I am today. Real, real with purpose. There you go. Um, thank you to all my teachers in these past four years. Okay, thank you to my parents and my family uh, just pushing me forward throughout the graduation. Thank you everybody who's helped me on the journey. And, uh, I'm ready for what is to come. I'd like to take this chance to thank my teachers my principals, my, all my family and stuff too, except my brother, and yeah. Hi, my name's Madison, and I'm thankful for my family and my dog, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I just wanna thank Coach Q, all my teachers, I wanna give a special thanks to my family, and I'm just proud to be a Raider. <laughs> Uh. I'd like to thank all my family and all the teachers who helped support me get through high school. I wanted to say thank you to all my family that helped me get this and my teachers. <laughs> thank you, Coach McCune. Thank you, Ms. Clark. And thank you, Mr. Matthews, for teaching me all I need to know. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I'm graduated. I just want to thank my parents. They've helped me through this whole thing and I couldn't thank them enough. Thank you to all my teachers who supported me and my family who supported me throughout my high school years. <laughs> thank you. 
thank you to my parents and all my family. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my brother, and my grandmother through my ups and downs and my attitude. I'd also, also like to thank Ms. Mercer and Mr. Swin. Thank you, everybody. I just want to thank my family for uh, coming along with me to this journey. It wouldn't be possible without y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Um, I want to give a big thank you to my sisters and my parents for making me the person that I am today. And I want to give a big thank you to Randall High School faculty for making this day possible for me. I would like to give thanks to my parents and my sister and my grandmother, and then also my soccer team that has been with me the past four years. Um, I would like to say thank you to my family and to all my teachers for getting me here, and that's it. Thank you, Mom and Dad, and thank you to my teachers. And thank you to my favorite teacher, Ms. Robinson. I want to thank my mom, my dad, and uh, everybody that's helped me on this wonderful journey. I just wanted to thank my dad and Erica for helping me through everything that I want. I would like to thank my friends, my family, and all the teachers for being supportive and giving me the best memories of all of these four years. Thank you to my mom and my dad and my brothers for supporting me and everything through it all. Thank you. Uh, thank you mom and dad for getting me here and thank you to my little brother Jackson and my grandma and thank you to all my coaches that have coached me throughout these last four years. Thank you everybody for supporting me. <laughs> I just want to thank my family and all my friends for supporting me and all the staff and teachers here that also helped me. <laughs> I would like to thank everyone who supported me, teachers, family, everyone who supported me. Thank you. Thank you to my mom and dad and my teachers, to Miss Niece, Miss Gender Denny, and my band director, and Miss Huseman, and all everybody. So, thank you. Thank you to my mom, my dad, and all my teachers. I'd like to thank my mom and dad and all the teachers that didn't give up on me, even though I didn't do my work half the time. I want to say thank you to my friends, my mom, my grandparents, and my teachers. I would like to thank my family and all the teachers that helped me get to where I am and helped me achieve what I'm able to achieve now. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Ricky, Jen, everybody who's supported me over the years and for appreciating my art. I really appreciate it. I just want to say thank you to my parents and all my teachers. Thank you to my parents and all my friends and all my teachers who helped me get to this point. Uh, thank you to my friends and family that couldn't be here today. Thank you for supporting me. I love you all. Um, I want to thank the people that, you know, discouraged me. I don't know. My parents, they're cool. That's awesome. Um, I don't really know many other people, so. And then the tassel. You know, I thought you said I'm I'd like to thank my mom, dad, brother, sister, and sophomore English teacher James Godwin. I just want to say thank you so much to all of my friends and family. Thank you for supporting me and helping me get through all of this. Thank you so much. I would like to thank my family, friends, and teachers that helped me to get my way here. 
I'd like to thank my family, friends, and all the teachers that have helped me along the way. I just want to thank my family for being supportive and encouraging me to uh, keep working hard. I would like to thank my mom, my stepdad Ramon, and my grandfather. Thank you for any family that helped me through high school and thank you for any teachers that helped me through high school. Uh, I just want to thank God, thank my family, thank my friends and all my teachers at Randall. I'd like to thank everybody who helped me and helped me on this way to where I'm at right now and on this long journey. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I just want to say thank you to my family and friends uh, for just supporting me at Randall High School and to the teachers that pushed me through and to make me have grit. Um, thank you to those as well. Uh, I just want to thank my mom and my dad for supporting me and uh, pushed me to do my best throughout high school. And I uh, want to thank my siblings, too, for sticking there. And hopefully this inspires y'all to do the same, and go Raiders. Thank you, Randall High School, for all the amazing memories I'll never forget. <laughs> I want to thank all my friends and family for always pushing me to do my best. I want to thank my mom, dad, and all the teachers at Randall. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for helping me graduate high school and my friends and family and my sisters, most importantly. I'd like to thank my family for always supporting me, my mom for pushing me to be a better me, and I'd like to thank Emmy Estes and Brooklyn James for showing me um, just how to be a strong, powerful woman. big thanks to my family that has supported me for all these years and a big thanks to my brothers that couldn't make it today. I hope everyone's safe. Thank you. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and my siblings for helping me get through this. Oops. Hi, I'd like to thank my friends and family for their constant support. I'd like to thank all my teachers and friends for um, always inspiring me and my family for supporting me. Thank you to my parents and teachers for helping me graduate and especially Ms. Cummings for getting me here.